positive and then wait for a week uh, to just see if the trades are real. Because that, yeah, like, like the human rights, original human rights defenders, we also often receive threats. Uh, there is no support system, no occupational safety and security related accountability for anyone. There is just blame. Just blame to our communities that every every single single thing that happens to us is because of our drug using behaviors. We are people who use drugs. If we are criminals, then what is the word that would describe the Curtis action? If we are to be called as a brain disease person, then how do we define the Curtis fairy dog, whatever, whatever, everyone? And our being is criminalized in some cases, and it is frustrating to see political correctness everywhere. I did not know what and how to tell a meeting participant earlier this month who suggested me to say legal barriers instead of war on drugs simply because she thought I might piss off their chief guest. I mean, all these human rights crises that hardly anyone would want to discuss about. There are many people who are far more concerned about harm reduction services for HIV prevention, creating an enabling environment, or removing legal barriers. It feels like some are simply pretending to be looking for answers because they do not want to engage in the real issues. It really does not make any sense to see so much focus and so much resources invested on biomedical interventions. I'm not saying that uh, harm reduction investment has been adequate. No, it is not adequate. In fact, um, it, it was SRI's report which has already like shown that only 13% of the total need for harm reduction funding has been covered so far. So, in a study conducted for uh, the period 2014-2016 allocation period of the Global Fund, of the total allocated fund for uh, people who use and inject drugs at the country level, only 0.34% was allocated for advocacy work. How do, how do we do advocacy with such level of allocation if out of the total fund, 0.34%, that is only for rallying during the world day. This is a serious issue and we, we do not think it has happened just unintended. We feel some, in some ways, in many ways, that it must have happened intentionally as well. We have lost many of our fellow activists during their fight against the current criminalizing environment. They envision harm reduction services for everyone, but this is not the kind of harm reduction services that they had dreamt of, for which they sacrificed their life fighting for until their last breath. This harm reduction that our communities have been gathered, we prefer to call it harm reduction under the prohibition. They are just harm reduction under the prohibition, yes. So, there is no support system and there is just blame. So, there is one, one good news in 2019, whilst in the beginning. I started 2019 with one best news ever. The news was about the Netherlands. Of who was, uh, which was on the verge of shutting down all its prison facilities. Uh, they did not have any prisoners, so they had to actually borrow some prisoners from another country huh. just, to, just to keep their prison guards, uh, give, give their prison guards work, work for the time being. So, isn't that amazing? Isn't that what we all wanted for, wanted also? So that has already happened. And our demand is a future where such situation does not arise in the first place. When if my child or your child uses drugs, then they are not killed. They are not beaten badly and locked up 